after months together, Jacob and I parted company. Amicably, I think. He's a brilliant thinker and superb tactician. He's also a decent man. Because he has all those things, I feel he was beginning to suspect there is more to our excursions to meet candidates than mere field observations. His intuition serves him well. For his protection, and the protection of the program, I requested that he be reassigned. Hands-on didn't even wait for the tech crew. Got it done, though. This is a significant turning point in the relationship between Dr. Halsey and Captain Keyes. Although at face value this is effectively Dr. Halsey deciding that perhaps Keyes knew a little bit too much and that it was time to get him gone from her program, this isn't necessarily accurate as to the motivations behind her decision to get him reassigned. In truth, at this stage, Catherine Halsey was already developing affections and attraction towards Jacob, contrary to perhaps Jacob's own personal opinions in feeling that Halsey looked down on him on an intellectual level. This is also very far from the truth. The reality is that Halsey actually respects Jacob's tactical genius. Halsey understands that Jacob is a master tactician and is immensely intelligent in the fields of naval engagements, naval tactics, and the art of war. And even on a more practical level, he is very much a hands-on kind of person, willing to step in and get things fixed and sorted for the sakes of the mission from a technical point of view, rather than waiting for trained technicians to deal with something that he knew he could handle himself. This likely speaks to Jacob's desire to simply be useful, to put his skills and talents to good use on any particular mission that he may find himself engaged in, but from Halsey's perspective, she viewed it as a valuable asset. She viewed him as a valuable asset, and a damned sight more. With previous passages in the journal and incidents in the lore, particularly in the book The Fall of Reach, specifying that Halsey was already kindling some degree of attraction to Keyes. It is for this reason that Halsey chose to have Keyes reassigned, not because he knew too much, or he was too close to the truth, or he was a security risk, or any other nefarious purposes. She had him reassigned because she likes him, and she doesn't want him getting caught up and muddied in, inevitably, the very dubious moral and ethical dilemma that will come as a consequence of this information eventually finding daylight. Note. In particular, her words, he's a brilliant thinker, a superb tactician, and a decent man, to paraphrase. These come before any other terms or excuses or reasoning as to why she was having him reassigned. Not the protection of the program, not a security risk, none of that. It was a legitimate and genuine concern for Jacob's best interests. And for me personally, the relationship between Keyes and Halsey has always been one that I'm particularly interested and engaged in. The Halo universe is full of large-scale battles and immense heroism, the larger-than-life Spartans and the implacable enemy of the Covenant, the threat of the Flood, the enigmatic forerunners. There's so much going on in the Halo universe at any given time and yet there is time taken to focus on this relationship, this kindred spirit relationship between Dr. Halsey and Captain Keyes. It's interesting and engaging because it once again speaks to the duality of humanity. Very simply the duality of good and evil, but more complexly the duality of our own self-contradictory natures. For example, in the pursuit of peace we will happily march to war. In the pursuit of knowledge and our beliefs we will gladly ignore extraneous detail and evidence to the contrary of our preformed ideas. In all of the chaos going on in the Halo universe, in this particularly dark instance of the law where we are abducting children in order to turn them into genetically modified and augmented super soldiers to fight, in the first instance against humanity, against an insurrection, super soldiers of untold and unbridled power 
fighting against humans. Unaugmented humans. This is a particularly dark part of the lore, and yet, despite that darkness, there is the early beginnings of a romance that will span decades. A love that is born of simply being kindred spirits, being drawn to one another in particularly dark and difficult times. A romance which in any other life and in any other time would have blossomed into something beautiful is being kept at arm's length due to the mitigating circumstances. So the big thing to take away from this particular entry is Halsey didn't want Jacob to be any further away. She wanted him to be closer, but she also knew what that would entail. For Jacob's reputation, his career progression, his freedom and in worst case scenario, his life. But also, more specifically, and I'm sure Halsey wouldn't really admit this to anyone, perhaps not even to herself, she is genuinely worried about what Keys will think of her if he found out the true reality of what she was doing. And onwards from that, in reality, it's a good chance Jacob already knows what's going on, and yet he loves her in spite of it. And this is why I find the relationship between Keys and Halsey so engaging, so endearing, and there's much more yet to come. <laughs>